Grace and peace to you, family. Hope y'all are doing well. Today, I wanted to break down some of the production that went on in Holding Me Down, the collaboration between myself, Montel Fish, and Sarah Juarez. So let's dive right into it and just look at some of these individual elements that make up this uh, vibey, laid back, groovy, I would say, song. So the first thing that we're gonna look at is the keyboards. So that's definitely the foundation of the song that sets the entire mood. That was played by Emmanuel, a.k.a. E. Keys. He works for a production company called Ja Rock and Productions out in Brooklyn. They were actually involved in some of Andy Mineo's earlier stuff. Solid group of producers. But he sent me these keyboard loops that he made. Um, he had a couple of different layers and he sent this to me and I just started messing around with it and one of the first things that i did after i heard this was the bass line it just sounded like it needed just a funky bass line and so i use an instrument called spire it's a virtual synthesizer that i use on almost like a, a great deal of my tracks i use this uh, synth on so here is the bass line <laughs> So that was one of the first things that I added to this keyboard loop. I just thought it sounded really vibey. And um, in order to kind of make it have a, a live feel, even more of a live feel, I added some just like little atmospheric sounds, like the sounds of people talking in the background and vinyl crackles and uh, nature sounds. Just to make it sound like it's uh, happening in a in a like a, a lounge or or something, to just give it more atmosphere. You can barely hear it, but it's there and it's just giving a little bit of help to the mood. And so, really, that's the majority of what's going on melodically, besides the vocals. Everything else is like percussion driven. And so, one of the first percussive elements that I threw in there is the shakers. There's three different shaker layers going on here. I think one of them is actually a tambourine. And then on top of that, hand claps. Then next is I chopped up some uh, like acoustic hi-hats from a drum kit. Real sounding hi-hats. So the drums are all coming together at this point. We got shakers, we got hand claps, we got some atmospheres, we got the bass line, and we got some keyboards going on. So that's already given us quite, quite a nice little bounce, quite a nice vibe going on. What I wanted to do to take it out of the completely like live territory and like organic drums is add in some like little electronic sounding drum elements. One of the producers that kind of inspired me a lot um, is Timbaland. And you hear Timbaland use these like little tiny electronic drum sounds in a lot of his songs. And so I uh, took a play from his playbook and added those into here it's just an electronic open hi-hat and then an electronic little like almost a uh, wood block kind of sound i love that little sound <laughs> So that's what we got going on for the percussions i'll play all of that all at once <laughs> kick and snare just so y'all can kind of hear what's going on with that nothing too crazy
Yep, and then one other percussive element that I threw in there was this uh, dope loop that I found, the percussion loop that just kind of glued it all together and gave it a little bit of extra energy boost. Without it, with it. You see how it, it feels a little bit more empty when it's gone, but then you bring it back in and you really, you notice it coming back in. So now we'll put in the bass line, the keys, and let that rock. This next little element is just a like a saxophone sample I found. And then of course the vocals added on top of that and we have what has come to be known as holding me down. This is the zoomed out view where you could see kind of everything that's happening the great majority of it is is drums <laughs> it's really just a ton of drums and then down here we got of course all the vocals from montel and sarah and then up here just keyboard bass line pretty simple but definitely effective you don't need a lot going on for a song to be a good song and this song praise god ended up being one of the biggest songs I've been involved with. <laughs> I don't think any of us really expected that it was going to do as well as it did. Um, especially not me, because actually some of the backstory for this song is that I was working for a production company called Jaw Rockin' Productions out in Brooklyn. They were um, involved in some of Andy Mineo's earlier stuff. But a different artist had hired us to work on their project. And... Um, the keyboard player from this team of producers sent me the keyboards for this song to produce around and, and submit to this person's project. And uh, they actually didn't end up liking it. Uh, it just didn't fit the vibe and the feel of what they were looking for. And so it is technically a song that got rejected. And so I was a little bit discouraged. I'm like, man, you know, I really like how this sounds and I worked hard on it and I want something to happen with it. And so I posted it on the Good Christian Music Blog Artist Forum. Um, Steven from the Good Christian Music Blog made a Facebook group where artists that had been featured on the Good Christian Music Blog could just collaborate, connect, and work on new stuff. So I just posted this instrumental up on that little uh, Facebook group. And then I think I like went to sleep. <laughs> and by the time I woke up, Montel responded back and he, he had recorded vocals for it just like that while I was sleeping. And I listened to him. I was like, yo, <laughs> this is fire, man. Um, So he sent me the vocals. I started mixing them in. And then Steven had the idea to uh, get Sarah to jump on and do some harmonies. So she recorded to it. And it all just kind of came together really naturally. It sounded like such a good fit to have all these voices and these styles combining together. And so it's really cool that what started off as like a little bit of a discouragement ended up being a song that was like really received very well. I was very encouraged by that. Praise God that he took something that was a rejected song and turned it into one of the most popular songs that I ever worked on. So praise God for that. I hope you guys have enjoyed a little bit of the production moves um, and seeing kind of the behind the scenes and some of the story of how the song came to be. If you have any other questions about different uh, production elements or, or how the song came to be, then just drop in the comments and ask whatever questions you want. I plan to be doing more of these um, for some of my other songs. So stay tuned. And in the meantime, God bless you. Um, stay safe out there, and uh, I will see you again soon, Lord willing.